Hey, good morning Facebook. It is Jerry coming to you today live from Guanacaste, Costa Rica, and it's a beautiful day here from Rhythmia Life Advancement Center. Uh, and what Rhythmia Life Advancement Center is, is a, a retreat center that offers a really unique set of programming that includes uh, uh, plant medicine as part of its, as part of its program. The results that we have are very, very, uh, very rare. And by the results, what I mean is this, is that for every thousand people who come through our doors, 951 report a life-changing miracle. So, so that's 95.01%. And then six months later, 97.55% of those people uh -huh. report that this miracle is still working in their life. So this is really what everybody else is saying they can do kind of happens here. And I need your help. Hey, Ross, I need your help. Uh, please share this on your Facebook page if you think anybody could use this. And I want to tell you a little bit about me. My name is Jerry and, and what, how did I land here and what's my story is real, real quick and easy. Uh, I became a millionaire in my 20s. I became a hundred millionaire in my 30s. Uh -huh. and, and in my 40s, I sold a company for uh, $90 million and I quit work. And, uh, and, but my life was terrible, miserable. I, I was suicidal. Uh, I tried to commit suicide two different times and, and nothing worked. And then I, I did this plant medicine one time and, and had this crazy revelation and that revelation is what sparked uh, this place called Rhythmia and since that time we've had 6,000 guests through the door uh huh, and they all report the same kind of thing and, and what we believe is this oh my god that's backwards <laughs> so anyway what we believe is this we believe that that you're born in your soul and that sometime between when you were conceived and five years old you split to become someone else. And that this person becomes the doctor, the lawyer, the Indian chief, the whoever, the nurse, uh, the, the, the whatever you are in your life. And this split that all, all disease, all addiction and all disorder, so disorders are happiness and lack of happiness, result from this split. And, and what we've been able to do is design a program that puts you back. And I want to tell you the most beautiful part of this is that not only am I talking about it, but again, 95 out of every 100 people report having the same thing happen here. And that this thing stays in their life and they maintain it and maintain it. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Now, <clears throat> these, these folks that have this thing happen, the next phase of their life is that they go home and they want to create the kind of life that they want. And, and notice I don't say manifest and I don't say wish or I don't say pray for. They go home to create the kind of life that they want. And so what does this look like? What does this creationism look like? By the way, if you think anybody can benefit from this, please share this right now. So, so what does this creation look like? Well, in my life, it looked like this place, yeah? And what is heaven and what is hell? So I have so many people about about 80 people a week that come here, they, they go through the, the, our program, they drink the medicine, they get to the other side, and they see heaven and hell. And, and, and what they see is this is heaven or hell. And what is the best definition of, of heaven and what is the best definition of hell? Hell is knowing. So from your, your, from your merged self, you pick something the way you want your life to be. Uh-huh. Hell is knowing what you want and not being willing to do what it takes to get it. Oh man, that's exactly what hell is. Is knowing what I want and not being willing what it takes to, to do what it takes to get it. And what is heaven? The exact opposite. Knowing, knowing what I want and then being able to make a choice to say I'm going to do whatever it's going to take for me to get that. That's the difference. So either you're living your dream. So what is your living your dream? Your living your dream doesn't necessarily mean that you've achieved it. It means that I'm in the process. I'm on the road. 
I'm in the direction of, that's all it means. And by the way, being in the direction of it and attaining it feel the same. Huh? Being in the direction of it and attaining it feel the same. They feel exactly the same. And then, and then not having it and not doing anything to get it feels the same. Uh -huh. So please, this is such simple stuff. The beauty of the medicine is that it simplifies everything. Uh -huh. We get so complex. We read these books and there's, there's so many charlatans out there. So what is a charlatan to me? Uh -huh. Somewhere in the beginning, somebody said that this should be easy. And then those people and their offspring and all this have been selling some easy way, some easy way to get there. And the only people who get rich from that are the people selling it because it's a fucking lie. There is no easy way. Coming to Rhythmia is a fuck, the hardest works week, I believe. I can't say that because there are people that are, that are, are breaking big rocks into little rocks. But I'm going to tell you, it's the hardest week's work of your life. Hey, Carrie Brewster. It is the hardest week's work of your life. And what does that mean? That means that, and, and that is reflective of the outside world. That is reflective of the outside world. So what I, what I mean by this, none of this is going to be easy. Not one bit of it. If, if most of us are working so hard to make it easy, let's find a way to do this the easy way. Let's find a way to merge the easy way. Let's find a way to make money the easy way. Let's find a way to make love the easy way. Let's find a way to find the, the, the woman or the man of our lives the easy way. Let's find a way to get the community that I want the easy way. And it's all bullshit. It's all fucking a lie. Uh -huh. And I'm going to tell you what. The time that you waste trying to do it the easy way, that next year is coming anyway. And do you want to be on the path? Or do you want to be on the sidelines complaining how it didn't work? Fucking true. It is the truth of the truth of the truth. Uh -huh. So how do we make it work? How do we get in? Well, the first thing we do is get aligned. And once we're aligned, we pick something that is not of the ego. Uh, picks, that takes a lot of self-examination or a little bit of medicine in the right program to pick something that is not, in other words, my ego is not picking this because I want to look good, I want to smell good, I want more women, I want a better car, I want to live in a nicer place. Those are not the places that, that, that the true self picks from. The true self picks from, because here's, I want to show you this. When you are split, when you're split, the highest form of vibration you can get is pleasure. Uh-huh. That's the highest form. When you're split, the greatest you can hope for is pleasure. Pleasure, a sexual orgasm, being drunk, uh, having a great time, being out with the guys, that, that's the highest. Once you're merged, there's a whole new thing called satisfaction, which is not as high on the pleasure scale uh, short term. It's twice as high long term. True satisfaction. So what are we looking for in our lives? We're actually looking for true satisfaction. We're actually looking for it. And how do we get that? Number one, we get merged. Uh -huh. Number two, we pick from the left-hand side of the menu. We pick from we pick from our soul side of the menu. And most of you watching this are in some way, shape, or form destined to be in the healing arts some way. Some way. Does that that could mean as an investment banker? That could mean as a car salesman. That could mean as a healer. That could mean as a as an energy reader. That could mean as a psychic. That could mean as a hands-on healer. That could mean as a Reiki master. That could mean as a yoga master. It could, but, but you're destined to be in the healing arts. And if you're destined to be in the healing arts, uh -huh, then you're going to pick something from that side of the menu. And when you pick from that side of the menu, heaven occurs. Here's how heaven occurs. I'm going to pick from this, and I'm going to start with one thing. So let's, let's talk about it. I'm going to pick from that side of the menu and start with one thing. What does that even mean? Let's talk about it. I'm working at the bank, but I had this two hour meditation. I got to myself, I merged my soul, and my soul wants me to be a, a healer. 
wants me to do hands-on healing. Uh -huh. So how do I start? Well, I put up a shingle and nobody shows up because I'm not known as a hands-on healer, right? Good. I start by putting a little thing at work, a little postcard that says I'm doing hands-on healing for free at my place between these times and watch, someone will show up. And then when that person shows up and you sign your name to that healing, meaning you do not let that person go until you wow them. And that might take you 50 tries. It might take you 100 tries. You might have to go through 300 people, but then you get your formula and your healing and it's working. And now you put your, your, your thing back up at work and you now 10 people show up for free. The next thing you know, 30 people show up for free. And then the next thing that happens is you start charging 100 bucks. Uh huh. And now all of a sudden, you're making money. And now you do it a few times a week, and all of a sudden you're making more money than you're making at the bank. And then the transition occurs. And the better that you get at it, but here's the thing the moment that you say you're going to do it, the moment you say you're going to do it, you're in heaven because you're on your path. It's a means to an end. Uh -huh. You've decided what you wanted and you've made a commitment to start doing it today. That's all this is. Now, charlatans their whole life, uh -huh, the whole history of, of con conning uh -huh, is around telling people that they don't have to do that. Uh -huh. There's a different way. You don't have to be a good person. You don't have to be in love with what you're doing. You don't have to give more than you take. Uh huh. And I'm going to charge you to show you how to do that. There you go. That is the worst of all things. That is the worst of all things. Believing in that possibility. You know, there are people now that write books that say, all you have to do is vibrate like it, but they miss the whole fucking point. Uh -huh. They miss the whole point. In order to vibrate like it, you have to be it. <laughs> you cannot vibrate like it if you're not it. And you know what? Being it costs. It costs to be it. You have to love more than you hate. You have to give more than you take. You have to bring more to a situation than you're taking. Uh huh. So last week I talked about this. I talked about bringing more to a situation than you're taking. Do you want to be sought after by people of the opposite sex, be a great catch. Uh huh. That doesn't mean be the most handsome or the most pretty or the most, it means to create more value than you take. You want to be the number one at your job? Come on in, create more value than you take. Uh huh. You want to say you're going to build this thing. I don't care. And I have so many people that I talk to that say, Jerry, you know, and, and I'm lucky because I get to meet about 5,000 new folks a year. And not only do I get to meet them, I get to spend a week with them and it's a lot like being in a summer camp. I really get to know them. You know, the biggest complaints are, the biggest complaints are, I'm, I'm not, I, I haven't found the person that, that meets my thing that, that I vibrate with, or I'm not doing what I love to do. Two of the biggest sins in the world, uh huh, to go through life wanting to be paired with someone and not having it, and to go through life doing something I don't want to do. You know what hell is? I'll tell you what hell is. But here's a beautiful thing of hell. I work and I keep saying at the bank, and please don't let that offend anybody who works at the bank. It's just something that I say because I know a lot of people at the bank who are living their dream. But I'm working at the bank. I have a big mortgage. I have a new BMW and I'm in fucking hell because I can't leave the bank. I can't find a job where I make that much money and I'm stuck. Uh huh. Terrible. Don't waste your life being stuck. Please don't waste. That's really the sin. That's really the sin because you blink. Watch how this goes. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That's in, when you look backwards, that's how long those, those half a decades go. Blink, 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 blink. Uh huh. We don't want to waste any of them there. Not one of them there. Uh huh. So what, what do we do? We get with ourself. Uh huh. And we, this is all done through self-examination. What is Rhythmia? Rhythmia is 40 years worth of self-examination in seven days. That's why it's so fucking hard. Mm -hmm. But you can do the self-examination on your own. You can do the self-examination right, hi Zimmerman. You can do the self-examination right now if you're flying on a plane or if you're, if you're in, all you gotta do is get alone. 
and tell yourself the truth. Uh huh. The truth is, am I happy? Am I going? On, am I on the right path? Am I going to where I want to go? Boom. Is this path going to lead me to happiness? I can tell you how you know. Uh huh. Because if being on the path makes you happy, that's the thing. Uh huh. If being on the path that you're on makes you happy, that's all you need. If the path that you're on does not, you're on the wrong fucking path. So don't be thinking someday. Someday never fucking comes. You know what it is? Someday is today. Uh huh. Someday is today. Someday is today at 10.15. That's when someday is. It's right now. If you're happy with where you're at right now, you're going to be happy with where you're at six years from now and 60 years from now. Uh -huh. If you're unhappy with where you are at right now, you're going to be unhappy with the whole rest of it. So what do we do? This is the, the you know what love is? Love is the complete act of honesty towards oneself. And from that place of love, we will know our truth. And then our truth sets out this pathway. And once we step our tippy toe on that pathway, half contentment starts to occur. We start walking the walk. We start going down that road. Beautiful stuff, right? That's the road you want to be on. That's it. And, and, and I'm going to tell you what, no easy way out program is going to get you there. It's not going to get you there. No easy way out spiritual thing is going to get you there. It's not going to get you there. No easy way out accumulation of wealth shit is going to get you there. It's not going to fucking get you there. Uh huh. The thing is, don't vibrate as it. That's too complicated for people. Be it. Be on the road to creating the house that I want. So I can tell you this and just think of it like building a house. Hey, look it. If my field is empty, that's one thing. At least I have a field. Okay, if that's the field where I want to build my house, then I can see, am I building my road? Am I on my foundation? Am I putting up my walls? Am I putting... It's easy to see. Look at it like that. Look at it just like that. Am I there? And I'm going to tell you what. It's so easy. Once you're on the road to getting the thing that you want. So let's say I want to open a bakery. And I start... But nobody knows about me. I'm, I'm famous. I'm unfamous Amos. <laughs> nobody knows about me. And my cookies are bomb. Uh huh. So what do I do? Oh, I, I'm stuck at the bank. I can't afford to open a bakery. Fuck that. I can afford, I can afford to, on Saturday or Sunday, cook two or three batches of cookies and take them into work and say that these are Jerry's cookies. Uh -huh. and, 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 and Jerry's cookies are here for you. Uh -huh. And now all of a sudden, guess what? Next week, people will say, hey, Jerry, can I have some more of those cookies? Yep. And I make them more for free and more for free and more for free. And about four weeks out, I start charging for the cookies. And now all of a sudden, next thing you know, I'm the cookie Nazi. Like people love it. This is how a business is created. You build a business that way. You're building a life that way. And guess what? From the moment you start making that first batch of cookies, you're on the path. Uh -huh. You're doing what you love to do because what you're going to find out, the fun isn't in selling them. Uh huh. The fun's in making them and watching other souls enjoy them. That's the fun. The fun of Rhythmia isn't, isn't in selling Rhythmia programs. The fun of Rhythmia is every Sunday I look out upon a, uh, a small group of 50 to 90 people. Uh huh. And they're crying tears of joy because they get it. Ooh, talk about fun. I get to do that every week, 51 weeks a year. Uh huh. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's the joy of this thing. So what is, what is heaven? If, if you know, because here's the two things that you have to know in your head. Number three things. Number one, I have to add more value than I take, no matter what, or it's not going to work. Number two, it's going to take longer than I imagine. Everybody thinks they're going to do this thing and, and, and then two weeks from now, everything's going to be better. It's bullshit. Uh -huh. you, this thing is going to take longer than you ever thought. And the third thing, it's going to be bigger than you ever imagined. I want to tell you a little quick one. When I was a kid and I had a couple million bucks, I think I had $2 million at the time, my greatest thing was if I had $10 million, I'd be happy. Uh -huh. And I worked my fingers off. Uh -huh. 
on that thing to get ten million dollars, and it took so long. Uh huh. It took. It, excuse me. I have to let my dog out. Go ahead. Go. Okay. It's a lucky thing too because I think she got sprayed by a skunk. Uh, anyway, it took much longer than I thought. So I had planned it. I reverse engineered it, and I thought I could do it in five years. And it took about eight years, but I wound up with seventy million bucks. Mm -hmm. So like. It's going to take longer than you thought, it's going to be harder than you thought, and it's going to yield more than you thought. Now, the great thing is, the moment that you decide that you're going to give everything to this cause, whether that's to your new relationship, whether that's to this idea of what you think you should be doing with your life, or this, this nonprofit you're going to build, or whatever the hell this thing is, and, and usually, if you pick it from here, it benefits others. If you pick it from here, it benefits others. It doesn't take from them. It benefits them. And if you're building this thing, if you're building this thing, the moment that you hop on the road to get that built, your life changes. Your heart changes. Your focus changes. And all of a sudden, you feel like you already have it. You know why? Because you do. It's the nature of the universe. Because you do. You don't even know it but there's a part of you that knows that you already have it. And this is the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And this is why today you can change the whole thing. Uh-huh. This is why today, this very moment, today, uh-huh, at 10.30, uh-huh, you can change the whole thing. And what does it take? Honesty. That's love. Uh-huh. And by the way, love, and this is what they'll this is what uh, the, the people will tell you that are, are trying to make money the wrong way. Uh -huh. They'll say, you can make money, you can make money, right? You can make money and you can do it without working. Uh -huh. You can have relationships without giving all from a very protected standpoint. Well, guess what? It's fucking bullshit. Love has no fear. Uh -huh. If you ever see somebody loving, it has no fear. It has no fear. It's the strongest thing in the world. Love isn't protective of itself. If you really believe in the laws of the universe, uh -huh, that love is the greatest thing in the world, that light conquers dark, then love cannot be afraid. Can't be afraid, can't be ashamed, can't be self-conscious. Love is love, and it has balls. Love has huge balls. Uh -huh. that's, that's sexist, so I'm sorry I said that. Love has great confidence. I'll change that. Love has great confidence. Uh -huh. So now, here's what love looks like. Love looks like I'm going to do this. I'm going to give more than I take. I'm going to create more value than I take out. I'm going to love from a space of no fear, and I'm gonna get on the path. Guess what that means? I'm happy. I'm happy the moment my toe hits the road. Uh -huh. The moment my toe hits the road. So please, I want to tell you guys, this week, keep this love in you. Keep, and how does that love start? Get alone and ask yourself some real questions. Am I happy with where I am today? If it were a rifle, could I see where it's pointed at? Am I going to be happy when I get out there? And if you're not, take it all the way back to step one and re-engineer the whole show because time is a ticking. The, 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 the sands of time have been turned. It's ticking. Uh -huh. And the one thing you can't replace, money you can replace all fucking day and night, but you can't replace that time. So please, this is what the medicine's asking us to do. The medicine's asking us to be honest about being honest. And we can't do that until we value time and know that this is important. Uh -huh. It's funny, it's great fun, but it's, it's super important and it starts with self-reflection and it starts today. So let's do this. Let's get together and, and, and promise each other that we're going to take some time today to take an honest evaluation of where we're at. And by all means, guys, if you want to come here and get on a fast track of hard fucking work, if, if you read, you know the thing is, you read a lot of these... Uh, TripAdvisor things for Arrhythmia. We're the highest customer rated TripAdvisor resort in the world with over 850 reviews. And you read them 
And the guy, oh my God, it sounds easy, because they all say, this place changed my life. It was the best thing that ever happened. All of those people by Wednesday are like, I made the worst decision ever coming to this place, because it's hard work. By Sunday, they forget about how hard it was, and they're just in love. I want you to come to Rhythmia, but I want you to know the truth. It's fucking hard. Uh -huh. But please come. My coo, how are I love these ladies. My coo and Ingla, hi ladies. Uh -huh. Come to Rhythmia. 1-866-936-9446. I'm sure you have questions. There's people there right now ready to answer the phone and, and to talk to you about your questions. But please make a decision. Do something now. Do something now before today's over. Make a decision to do something. That doesn't mean come here. That means make a decision with yourself to make a decision about where you're at with your life to be a, to do an honest self-assessment of the truth of where you're at. Uh huh. And then the rest gets easy. Okay, let's start with one thing. I want to tell you something. I've been rich and I've been poor. Uh huh. I've been healthy and I've been I've been I've been safe. And there's never a place of unhappiness when you're in flow. Look at. Uh, this place was financially one of the worst decisions I've ever made. Uh huh. And it's the most rich experience of my life. I get to see people get it. Uh huh. And, I, and we do such a bang up job that even though owning a retreat center is a terrible financial undertaking, we're doing okay. Only because we do such a crazy good job. So come here, make a decision yourself. Make a decision to look at your life. Uh -huh. Make a decision to, to make this the last day of that shit and to start something new. Uh -huh. It begins with one little thing. It begins with one little thing. One little yes. Uh -huh. One little yes. Okay, God bless you guys. May God hold you. May God keep you. May God bless you. And know this. You're creating the life that you want right now. So please join us and create a life that is quality for you. Uh -huh. God bless you. God keep you. And until next week, we'll see you at Rhythmia. Bye now.